SPSS produces quite a lot of output. However, not all of it needs to be interpreted. In the descriptives table, we can see that there were eight dogs in each group. The mean jumping time for the no escape group is clearly higher than the means for the other two groups. However, we need to look at the results of our statistical tests before we can conclude that this difference is more than just sampling error. In the descriptives table, we also have standard deviations and standard errors for each group, 95% confidence intervals around each mean, and minimums and maximums. In the test of homogeneity of variances table, we have the results of Levine's test. This test tests the null hypothesis that the three group variances are approximately the same, or homogeneous. We do not want to reject this null hypothesis, and so we want the significance value here to be greater than 0 0.05, which it is. So in other words, we can assume homogeneity of variances. And this means that we can ignore the output for the Welsh and Games Howell tests that we requested earlier. The next table down reports the results of the one-way ANOVA. Here, we're testing the null hypothesis that the three group means are approximately the same. As the significance level here is less than 0.05, we're able to reject this null hypothesis and conclude that the group means are not all the same. But that's all we can do. At this stage, we do not yet know specifically which means differ. To find this out, we need to look at the results of the two key post hoc tests. The degrees of freedom, F ratio, and significance levels should be noted down, as they'll be required for your results. The robust tests of equality of means table can be ignored, as homogeneity of variance is assumed. Likewise, the games how section of the multiple comparisons table can be ignored. Instead, We'll focus on the Tukey HSD or Honestly Significant Difference section. Here, we have three pairwise comparisons. Each of these can be evaluated for significance at an alpha level of 0.05, as their significance levels have been automatically corrected for type 1 error inflation by SPSS. The first compares the means for the escape and no escape groups and it's statistically significant at an alpha level of 0.05. The mean difference is negative, telling us that the no escape group had the larger mean. The second pairwise comparison is between the escape and control group means. This comparison is non-significant at an alpha level of 0.05. The two means do not differ by any more than would be expected by chance. The final pairwise comparison is between the no escape and control group means. This is significant and the positive sign of the mean difference, calculated as no escape minus control, tells us that the no escape condition had the larger mean. In other words, the animals in the no escape group took significantly longer on average to jump the barrier after the light was turned on. We can report these findings as t-tests where t is the mean difference divided by the standard error of difference. The degrees of freedom are the within groups degrees of freedom from the ANOVA table, which is 21 in our case, and the p-value can be read directly from this table. The homogeneous subsets table contains the same information as the multiple comparisons table. The control and escape conditions are in the same subset, which indicates that they do not differ from each other. And they both differ from the no escape group, which is in a different subset. And finally, if you're not comfortable with reading direction from the means table, you can simply interpret the means plot. The no escape group took significantly longer to jump the barrier than the other two groups. The escape and control groups did not differ by any more than would be expected by chance. To report these findings, we might say something like this. Now don't forget that when writing up a piece of research like this, you may also be required to report the results of your assumption testing and effect sizes. 
Effect sizes are necessary for interpretation as they give the reader a sense of the magnitude of each of the effects that you report.